So I've been using this Fisher AG7 space pen for a while, and I've been looking for the perfect upgrade for the refill. A lot of people love the uh, Fisher PR4 pressurized refill, and it's great under a lot of different circumstances, but it's not always the most fun to write with. So I've been looking for some alternatives. Uh, as far as the AG7 and the CH4 pens go, that's these uh, space pens with this uh, push button design, as opposed to the standard, you know, like the bullet style space pen. The, uh, it's a kind of a peculiar fit because they have a super narrow aperture here uh, and a hidden spring, like the spring is in here somewhere and there's a really crazy taper. So the profile of the refills that were fit are really limited. So obviously you have the PR4 and many, many people love that. So maybe this is just a waste of time for a lot of people, but uh, for me, I was, uh, became a little bit of a quest. So one option you can go with is this. This is the power tank refill. This is from a Uniball. This is the old 1.0 millimeter power tank refill. I don't think it's made anymore. I have had, I have a few lying around uh, and it's actually kind of a copy of the PR4. This fits fairly well and I'm not gonna test out in this video, I won't show you every refill, but the threading on this AG7 is very fine and it takes a long time to get it back in, but you could see good click action. It's a little bit more exposed than I would like, but it's fine. And it's a slow return. So it's an okay fit, not ideal. The other thing we'll test for is rattle. There should be no rattle when it's installed and there is a little bit. So uh, I would say that's one way to go, but far from ideal. Moving on, again, we're gonna move quickly here because this could take a long time. We have the refill from the Zebra F402. This uses a ballpoint style refill that is actually a pretty good fit for the AG7. Not ideal, but pretty good. Next, we have the refills that are used in this pen. This is the Oto Horizon. Uh, I reviewed this in the past. It's a nice gel pen and it has a needle tip. Uh, so it's kind of a strange fit, but uh, you know, strange fit as like an AG7 with a needle tip might strike you as being a little odd. But you can see it uses a non-standard length refill and these can be cut down to be a pretty good fit for the AG7. So if you have an Oto, and I believe this is called the Oto Horizon, this will fit. Uh, and refills that will fit the Oto Horizon are, are good fits as well. I, uh, in particularly, particular, I would recommend this high-tech C uh, 4.0 millimeter. It's uh, kind of a strange refill and we'll put this one in here because it is pretty cool. And if you look at the model number, it might be hard to pick up, but it is, let's see if I can see it. Uh, LHSRF-8C4, uh, I'll link to it in the notes, but uh, you'll see that it actually works Okay, I would not say this one is ideal, but it's a starting point. See, it's a little bit short, and then what you have is you have some wiggle at the end, which I find to be quite annoying. Uh, you could probably put some tape in there, but uh, it does write. And then the return, again, it's fine, not perfect. So, uh, interesting, but it's going to require some tape or some modification to make it a really good fit in there. But that said, it's a high tech seat refill in your AG7, which is a kind of a cool concept. Some other refills that are kind of popular or fit are this Platinum BSP60S. This is a fairly popular ballpoint refill. And again, it uses that weird size. And then uh, this, which is a, 
I cut the top off of this. I believe it's a Uniball. It's the uh, S7S. And this one fits fairly well. And it comes with a little cap, which you can cut and put, instead of have it protect the tip, have it fit on the end here. And uh, it requires a little bit of wiggling to get in here. But if you have one of these Uniball refills lying around, it's not a terrible way to go. The first click, it requires some force to get it through, but then look at that. A little bit of a wiggle, but really good length fit and good return. Uh, actually, return's not ideal, but not bad. and actually looks pretty good and less wiggle than the other pens. And this is a, uh, I would say this is a pretty good ballpoint refill and this, uh, and this is a popular option. Again, this is the S-7S from Uniball. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's another BSP. I have a bunch of those lying around. And lastly, we're gonna get to my favorite option. And this is the refill or the cartridge from a Chronix Hybrid 1.0 millimeter. Uh, I bought a few of these just so I'd never heard of this manufacturer called Chronix. They're uh, sold a little bit online here and there. And it has this kind of weird looking gel refill. It kind of looks like a Jetstream refill, but it's smaller. But the profile is pretty good for the AG7 or the CH4 once you give it a little chop here. No other modifications are required. No tape, no uh, augmenting, nothing like that. But once you cut that down, I actually cut mine like a millimeter too short. So I was trying to make it too perfect. But once you cut it down, you can see you got a really nice fit here. Again, I cut it a little bit too short. So if you have it ideal, it'll look like that, which is how I had it before I started messing with it. Uh, minimal wiggle. Maybe you have, you know, less than, I would say less than half of a millimeter of play in there. So I don't notice the wiggle and the return. Nice and solid. Really quickly, uh, actually, you know, let's do a quick writing test with this. So this is the Chronix Hybrid 1.0 millimeter. It's a nice hybrid ink. It's really smooth, has a good blue color. So if you're looking for a hybrid or gel style ink, a hybrid is essentially a gel ink from what I could tell, uh, this one will fit really nicely in the AG7. Now let's put that original one back in and we'll do our final evaluation. Good click, perfect return. And as far as play goes, it's basically none. Obviously this is a better fit. Uh, Fisher has really good manufacturing tolerances with these things. Oh, sorry about that. And now then this is the Fisher PR4. And there's the comparison of those two. You could see clearly a hybrid or gel style, clearly a ballpoint. Uh, it's a good ballpoint. So maybe this is a completely wasted exercise, but if you are looking for a gel or style or hybrid style refill for your AG7 or CH4, check out a Chronix hybrid. Thanks for watching.